Trying to fix wrongs that took place at the hands of the government in the John Wiley Price corruption trial, federal judge Barbara Lynn gave the defense wide latitude today. Fox 4 Sean Rack took us tweet by tweet into the morning's testimony. Hi Clarice, Judge Lynn prescribed a legal remedy for the ills caused when prosecutors did not disclose evidence to the defense. Now, there'll be no mistrial, but the remedy frankly left government prosecutors sick themselves today. A smiling John Wiley Price entering the federal building after winning a round against the government on the strength of rulings by federal judge Barbara Lynn. But she imposed some really interesting restrictions on the prosecution, the government. Judge Lynn told jurors the government did not turn over materials pertaining to its last three witnesses and two former FBI agents as rules require. The five government witnesses will be recrossed by the defense and the government must turn over undisclosed evidence. Attorney Krista Castaneda, courtroom observing. It does matter to the jury because the jury heard that the government had been withholding documents and didn't timely turn them over to the defense. This is kind of rare, I guess. I have not seen it happen. Price's finances picked clean by IRS agent Renee Hammett in direct exam. At times today, combative as she was challenged by the defense. And so what the defense focused in on is that there were things that she didn't consider, such as applicable IRS regulations in making her determination. Defense attorney Tom Mills recrossed former FBI agent Don Sherman on a just released email of Sherman's where he wrote, I don't know how much we have to dirty up her email to get it. Mills asked Sherman what he meant by that. His reply, it's not something that we do to the email, it's something that's in the email. Now, we aren't sure whose emails were being referred to in that discussion, uh, and it raises the question of what did it mean to dirty up the emails by the, by the government. So the defense, Clarice, tried to connect the dots of the portrait it wants to paint in the minds of jurors. The government's work in this case is unreliable, and there's no evidence to support the case. The trial in recess till Monday, so the defense can go through the ton of new evidence just delivered to them.